Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. Today I am going to explain the process states. Here I am explaining the 5 state model. So, in a 5 state model, there are 5 stages and each process may be in one of the following states. First is a new state. In this, the process is being created. Second is the running state. In this, the processes are being executed. Third is waiting state. In this, the process is waiting for some event to occur such as any input-output completion process. Fourth is the ready state. In this, the process is waiting to be assigned to a processor. And last, that is fifth, is the terminated state. In this, the process has finished its execution. Now these names uh, that I have given may vary from any operating system to operating system but uh, in Linux generally these are the five names which we are going to refer. Now many processes may be in ready or a waiting state but only one process can be running at a time in any processor. So now we will see the diagram related to these states. In this diagram, I have drawn the five states and these arrows indicate the flow from one state to another state. We will also see the reason that why a process switches from one state to another state. First transition is a new state to ready state. This transition occurs when any operating system creates a process and prepares that process to be executed. Then the operating system moves that process into the ready queue. Second transition is from ready state to a running state. Now when it is the time to select a process to run, the operating system selects one of the many jobs which are present in the ready queue and moves that selected process from a ready state to a running state. The next transition is uh, from running state to a terminated state. Now when uh, the execution of any process has been completed, the operating system terminates that particular process from the running state. Now this termination is a general termination because our process has completed its entire execution and then it is terminated. But sometimes the operating system might terminate the process for some of the other reasons which may include time exceed or memory unavailable or any input output failure and so on. So there are two types uh, when we make a transition from running to terminated. First is a general one whereas the second is we can call it as a forced termination also. Next transition is from running state to a ready state. Now any time slot of the processor expires or uh, if the processor receives any interrupt signal then what the operating system does is it shifts the running process into a ready state. We will take an example for it. Consider P1 is a process which is executed by the processor currently. Now in the meanwhile I get an interrupt uh, from the process P2 and I get this interrupt for the same processor. Now what the processor does is it compares the priorities of both the processes. Now if the priority for process P1 is greater than the priority for process P2 then the processor continues the process P1. Otherwise, the processor switches the process P2. Now, in this case, the process P1 will be moved to a ready state. Next transition is uh, from a running state to a waiting state. Now the process is put into a waiting state. If that process needs an event to occur or we can say any input output device requirement. The operating system does not provide it with input output uh, immediately or uh, the event doesn't occur immediately then that process is moved into the waiting state. Next transition is from waiting state to a ready state. Now a process uh, which is in the waiting state also called as block state is moved to a ready state when the event for which it has been waiting occurs. 
we will consider an example that a process is in the running state and needs any input output device then that process is moved to a blocked or a waiting state when the input output device is provided by the operating system then that process is moved to a ready state from a waiting or a block state so all these are transitions explains the process states